Hi guys, welcome to Hila Loves Fragrances. Uh, today I wanted to talk about a surprisingly great perfume for camping and that's the Paris Hilton Paris Hilton. I didn't have a lot of huge expectation when I uh, bought this. Uh, this was bought around the time that I was just basically on the perfume buying rampage. I have calmed down now. It's been about four months since I bought my last perfume. I've just been enjoying going through my perfumes, which has been really awesome. But this one, as you can see, I've already made a dent in it. It's a Paris Hilton named um, after her, and this is so perfect for summer. So I've just come back from a camping trip, still packing away the camping stuff. And it was gloriously hot in the Lake District and we were there for four days. It was just beautiful and we went hiking and did stuff like that. And I took this because it's a very lovely, light, um, fresh, fresh smell and fragrance. It's not particularly strong. If you put it on your skin, uh, probably within about for me anyway within about half an hour it would become a skin scent but i did find that if i put it on my clothes it lasted all day if i sprayed it on my clothes and this is one of those lightweight fragrances that you can't you seriously cannot over spray it because you can just go you know and then it's there and whilst we were hiking um up the hills and things like that i can't tell you how wonderful it was to catch it in the breeze like when the wind you know the wind would just waft through and then i'd catch it lifting up um so the nose profile is um i've got them up here so i've used fragrantica which i know can be a little bit dodgy but i think that it's quite accurate for this one because with the first burst you do get that melon the apple and the peach really comes through nice and fresh and it isn't sweet that's the other thing it's not a very sweet but it's just really fresh and fruity and then the middle notes, you've got uh, Frisia, Mimosa, Lily of the Valley, Jasmine, Lily, and Tuberose. And I can't say that the white florals are really that strong. They do come through in the dry down when it becomes a skin scent more than anything else. That's when you get sort of like that white floral feel. Um, sort of like a, a very, very, very distant, distant cousin of the Miu Miu, the white florals Miu Miu. And then the base notes are musk, ylang ylang, sandalwood, and oak moss. And I have to say the oak moss in this is absolutely lovely. And even in the uh, dry down, it doesn't create um, an unpleasant smell. So the campsite that we we're at, it had a limited number of showers. So I wasn't able to shower at night. So I had to make the choice whether I was going to do nighttime showers or daytime showers. And so I decided that I was going to do daytime showers. So because I wasn't doing nighttime showers, um, it really helped that this perfume doesn't leave a very strong um, smell or a strong dry down because I could still go to sleep. And, you know, when you're in a tent and you're, you know, you're tenting up with the five other kids, it's quite cramped and it can get easily smelly. But this always maintained its freshness, even at a skin scent stage. So, yeah, I really loved this and I was just spraying it on and really absolutely love it. So I've decided that I'm going to get a second bottle to keep in my bag because it's just great when you just want an instant burst of freshness. Now, you do have to top it up throughout the rest of the day. But if you like this sort of uh, fresh, uh, fruity, uh, burst zingy lightness you will enjoy topping it up because you keep on getting that burst and it's not terribly expensive at all so there isn't a feeling of you know dissonance that happens with paying loads of money for something that doesn't last too long so i really really like that and it's cute it fits into a small bag and um, even when we were going out and about i could just pop this into my bag so that i could just freshen it up and then just have an instant lift so that's Paris Hilton uh, for your consideration as a summer fragrance and also really as a great camping uh, fragrance because it is not overwhelming, it is inoffensive and is fresh and light. And I did get a couple of compliments saying that it smelled really lovely and fresh on a hot sunny day. Um, so yeah, so that's the one that I wanted to talk about. Love it. We'll be buying one to keep in my bag uh, for summer. And as for today, what am I wearing? I am wearing Guerlain's La Petite Robe Noir. And that's because I'm wearing green today. I'm wearing a green dress. 
And so I thought a green color perfume would match. And I love it. Again, it is another fresh, lifty, uplifty uh, sort of perfume. A little bit more mature than the Paris Hilton, but still quite a beautiful uh, freshness. And I've sprayed this on my skin. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back next time talking about another perfume um, revelation. I will talk about Blue Seduction from Antonio Banderas because that's another one that I took camping with me. I tried it for the one day. Didn't like it as much as the Paris Hilton one because I ended up wearing the Paris Hilton for the rest of the trip. So I'll see you next time. Bye.